Hello traders, Zigzag Man here and today I'll be doing technical analysis of the daily and weekly charts for DIGX, Dig It Underground Incorporated. The company website is getdownart.com. Go there to find out all about the company and their products and to find out about the stock. I go to the otcmarkets.com company information page. First, let's take a look at a three-month daily chart for DIGX. As you can see, it's only been trading since the middle of November 2011, and it's been in a steady downtrend. Now, this is all as of the close on Friday, February the 3rd, 2012. It closed up 15.38%. On very nice volume. The last trade was at seven and a half cents. Okay, the first thing I always look for when looking at penny stocks is volume. And right here, this was the biggest high, highest volume in a month. Second highest volume this year. And you've got a CCI buy signal happening right here, where the CCI is below minus 100 and then crosses up through it. And this point here, the, where it closed on Friday, is higher than this area of resistance it had last time on that fake buy signal. And it's right, right at, if not just above, this area where it peaked out. So this is all bullish here. Okay, As far as stochastics goes, it is totally over, oversold, just now coming out of oversold territory. With the reading on the fast line, at 22.93 and the reading on the slow line at 16.83 so fast line is now above slow line coming out of oversold territory which means it's got a lot of room to run all the way up to the upper Bollinger Band and the MECD's got some bullish looking things happening here too where um, on Wednesday it was negative Thursday it became positive by turning blue and Friday was an even bigger uh, uptick there and we also have the fast line of the MACD crossing up through the slow line basically for the first time in recorded history on this chart the fast line is at minus 0 0.031 slow line is at minus 0 0.033 so fast line is now above slow line and the histogram is a positive 0 0.002 now, as far as support and resistance goes, some people like to draw trend lines that show there's a lot of resistance here at the highs. So basically, this is your trend line. You have to break above. Uh, the way I do it is, it says pretty much the same thing, but it's the, the Bollinger Bands are green here, the upper Bollinger Band here, the lower Bollinger Band here, and the dotted green line in the middle since the Bollinger Bands are set at a 20 period, this is a 20 moving average. And as you can see, this stock has never been able to close above the 20 moving average. It always spikes up above it and then closes below it. So a close above, right now the reading on the middle Bollinger Band is 0 0.098. So let's say 10 cents, where I see a lot of resistance right here at 10 cents five or six times okay so getting through that getting through the motor, middle Bollinger Band would be bullish the next patch of resistance I see is up in this area right here where you're looking at probably 15 16 cents and a break above that you know actually that is my price target if it can start closing above the middle Bollinger Band my price target is right up here at about 17 cents and also at this resistance so 16 17 maybe 18 cents you know from seven and a half to 18 that's a pretty good move but first it has to get above it has to start closing above the middle Bollinger Band in the 10 cent area before it can have a chance to make it up into this area here we've also got a nice support line forming here on the bottom 
with a, a low of four, a close of five that day, it closed at five cents the next few days. To remain bullish, you'd want it to stay above that green support line, but if it doesn't, a close below five cents would make this chart very bearish, okay, because it's closed at five cents four days in a row and then started its little uptrend here. So overall, you know, good volume. CCI is looking real strong. Stochastics is totally oversold and just now coming out of oversold territory. The MECD histogram and the fast and slow line are starting to show real signs of improvement here. Let's take a look at the money indicators on the daily chart quickly. You've got on balance volume, accumulation distribution, and Chaikin money flow. And as you can see, for the last few sessions, most of last week, on balance volume was up ticking nicely. And this reading right here is actually at an all time high on this chart. Chaikin money flow down at the bottom also agrees that for the last four or five sessions, it's in a uptrend, but accumulation distribution is not also going up it's actually going down just a little bit which is not too serious of a bearish divergence it would have been better if all three of these agreed and were going up but this little down tick here is nothing to really worry about now let's take a look at the weekly chart where it closed up 50 percent on the week and that was the first up week it's had out of the last four or this entire year it had four red weeks and finally we're trying to put in a bottom here at four and five cents with a nice white candle and good volume biggest volume in the last three weeks so that's what you want to see when a, when a stock tries to bottom and move up is some good buy volume you've got on balance volume showing a nice uptick this week accumulation distribution is basically neutral or flat and the chart has not been around long enough to show Chaikin money flow. So the, qu the big question is, is this going to be the bottom here? Are we trying to set a bottom? And my theory says uh, close above the five moving average, which I mentioned on the daily charts, which is at about 10 cents. Okay, the reading on the five is point one zero three just over ten cents so a close above the five moving average on the weekly chart is is very bullish in my strategy barchart.com list digx as a hold on friday it closed at point zero seven five cents up point zero one or up fifteen point three eight percent over on the right it says average volume is just under 100,000 shares per day at 95,820. And Friday's volume on the left here was 296,102, which is more than double average daily volume. At the bottom on the right, the first resistance point is at 0 0.0933. And the next resistance above that is 0.1117. So closing above 10 cents or 11, they will be upgrading their listing to a buy. And I guess a break above 0.1117 would probably put it into the strong buy territory. Here are all the press releases from the Yahoo Finance site. The first one reads, Dig it underground to exhibit at the Las Vegas market at World Market Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, January the 30th through February the 3rd. Now that was last week, Monday through Friday. This news came out on Monday, January the 9th, but the actual exhibit was Monday, January 30th to Friday, February 3rd. So. We might be seeing some news about that, about new contracts or something this coming week. So keep your eye out on the news for DIGX next week. So Radar DIGX in the coming week.
Do your research at the company website at getdownart.com or otcmarkets.com company information page. They got some really great products with their art line, their Sin City Kitty line, and their Hangover Joe's Recovery Shot. I want to wish you all happy trading this week and good luck.